Dangerous Curves with their self-titled EP, five tracks for 17 minutes, released in March 2015. This is the debut EP from a Geelong-based four-piece produced by Jason Fuller at Goat Sound Studios. That'll be fun. <laughs> Who's going first? Hey. Go on. I absolutely love the music. Very fun and energetic 80s-style hard rock. Um, or oh, hints of hair metal, I suppose. Um, good guitar work as needs to be with this style of music. The only thing I thought let it down was the production. Um, it was very dirty and the drum sound is poor in my opinion, especially in the cymbals. Um, and this style definitely needs to have that polished drum cymbal sound. Yeah. Um, besides that, the music is fucking excellent, it's enjoyable and I reckon this would be great live and I can't wait to see them at our end of year yeah. festival. December 10, yes. <laughs> get around it. Uh, plug the shit out of that. Oh yes. Um, <laughs> 8 out of 10, standouts of Party of the Night away because that opening riff is bitching as fuck. Um, this isn't 80s inspired hard rock, this is 80s hard rock. Um, it's party music and bound to get your head banging, cool riffs, energy and easily catchy choruses. Um, it's something that can't be faked and that has got that youthful energy. Mm -hmm. um, these guys weren't even born in the 80s and they've obviously grown up listening to music from that era. Um, I would have liked to have heard a power ballad on this. I think that was the only thing this release was lacking. But I'm sure there's one coming in the future. Um, but at the moment, every kid wants to play fast. Um, yes. Kick out. <laughs> Rolling. Kick out. Uh, I saw, I saw I'm these guys... zoom in on the clowns in the fucking oh, okay. nosebleeder seats. <laughs> Why is it always my views? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw this. This is what we have to deal with, people. Oh, You'll see a video <laughs> down below. <laughs> this I... really doesn't look good from this angle, but anyway. No, it doesn't. <laughs> What are you doing to Fred? <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Dave. Yeah. I saw these guys open up for Delacoma and Ragdoll, and they really fucking held their own with that lineup. Two it was a great boys. opening oh. to the night. <laughs> <laughs> They've been around less than a year, and I think they've got a hell of a future. Uh, blow my whistle. I want to love you. Got me running seven and a half out of ten. Hang on, Daniel, for the record, anything in front of cameras is never private. I have more. <laughs> yes, there's a few bands starting to pop up with a real 80s hard rock vibe to them. Um, and mm. this is another one. I love this style of music, so I'm really happy that this is happening. It's fun, entertaining, dumb rock and roll. It's what music is all about to me. It's fun and entertaining. Jeez. Is there another oh, cookie happened. incident? Yeah, I'm like, happened. where's the cookie mate? at? Fucking hell. Um, yeah, look, if you love your 80s hard rock, get on this band. It's a throwback, but it's it's still fresh at the same time. They've got, they've got a, a good uh, modern sort of feel to them. Uh, the vocalist, Kim, he's a perfect fit. Really good, mm, ballsy yeah. rock singer. I would like to hear some backing vocals. I didn't really hear any backing vocals at all. Um, so I'd like to hear that going forward. Cool riffs, mm. catchy songs, great energy, fun party album. Put this on after six beers and watch the fun start around your house. I reckon. <laughs> yeah, we're, oh, we're already there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they keep developing their sound and evolve the, the genre because um, it's a style that brings a smile to your face, I reckon. Mm. I love it. Uh, those guys, Scarlet, Atomic Riot, mm, they're really yeah, good, all of them. Yeah, and they're that yep. little thing happening there. Eight and a half out of ten. It's good. First up, this has great energy. Uh, the production is a little rough around the edges, but nothing bad. If anything, it adds to the vibe, I thought. The the, the slightly just not polished production just really, really felt in at the right place at the right time. This is flat out 80s to 90s hard rock and metal. Roof driven, high energy. This will be fun live, and you can check them out at our end of year bash. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> December 10, Elephant Wilbur, in case you missed it. Be there. Uh, the songs are certainly there. Uh, it's another great beginning from a band. Uh, Enough for an audience to get into, great groove. I reckon in the live setting it'll shine. Mm. So they're not breaking any new ground, but it's very solid. If you like your up-tempo hard rock that is riff-based, then you'll enjoy it. There's a band that we've covered on the show that I've loved for years, and they're folded now, but that's Million Dollar Reload. Oh, yeah. And this could take the place of that band for mm -hmm. me if they go on and do better things. Oh, good, that band, weren't they? Yeah. We like them. The riff under Got Me Running makes me think of Danger Zone. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I'd like to hear real top-notch production on the next one though. Yeah, I reckon yeah. these songs deserve to have it polished to the absolute Definitely. fucking nth degree. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Keep the attitude and flair, just polish the fuck out of it. Yeah. Uh, the lyrics are what you'd expect. Tracks, uh, track titles like Blow My Whistle, I Want to Love You and Party the Night Away will tell you about the focus of this band. <laughs> 
Great introduction to the band. Does enough on mine to make you want to see them live? Again, elephant wheelbarrow. <laughs> uh, I reckon you can really just feel in the songs and the attitude, this will be a lot of fun to see live. Does enough to leave you wanting more, so well done for that. 8 out of 10, blow my whistle, party night away are my choices. Your feedback is welcome. We'll give you a taste. Yeah, yeah.